hello everyone hope you are doing well i am back with another interesting recipe today we are making nigeria chicken pie so keep watching let me show you how easy this is to make to make the chicken pie you need chicken breast i will cut it into smaller chunks of the camera so this is what it is looking like after cutting i add a seasoning cube or pepper spice curry powder white pepper for that unique flavor and salt i will go ahead and massage the chickens very well remember you can always use any spices of your choice to marinate the chickens okay once i'm done marinating the chickens i will set it aside next in a dry saucepan i will add vegetable oil allow the oil to heat up then go in with the marinated chickens i will stir fry on low to medium heat till the chickens are properly cooked remember chicken breast does not take time to cook thank you so much for your love and support to my returning subscribers i appreciate each and every one of you if you are new here a warm welcome to you please subscribe to my channel also like this video as well when you like my video it makes youtube to push it more further to those who has not come across my channel once the chickens are cooked i go in with some chopped onion chopped sweet potatoes you can also use irish potatoes and chopped carrot mix to combine very well Once that is done, I'm going to add water to the same level of the sauce. Stir one more time to make sure that the water is on the same level with the sauce. Now, test and adjust for more salt and spices if necessary. I added some salt and more curry powder. Stir to combine very well again. Cover and continue cooking on low to medium heat for 30 seconds. You don't want to overcook the veggies. Remember, we are still going to bake it. Now, we miss our slurry. Slurry simply means your cornstarch dissolve in water. Dissolve the cornstarch with water and set it aside. Back to the sauce, you can see it is boiling very well. Add the slurry. Once you add the slurry, stir gently like so. Cover and continue cooking on low heat for another 30 seconds. Or once you notice that the sauce has thicken, it is ready. Just look at that sauce. OMG, the aroma is choking. Trust me, the sauce tastes so good. At this point, the sauce is ready. Take it out of the heat. Put the sauce in an open plate just like I'm doing and allow to cool down completely with the emphasis on completely. Next, we mix the dough. I will add the flour into the dough. Remember to sieve your flour before using. Okay? To the flour, I added baking powder, baking soda, grinded nutmeg then I will mix to combine very well once that is done it is time to go in with the margarine I am using margarine that's why I did not add salt because margarine contains salt you can also use butter okay if you are using unsalted butter you can add half teaspoon of salt mix to combine very well after mixing this is what you should have if you can mold the floor just like so then you are the right place the floor is ready at this point make a wall at the center now to another bowl i will add one and a half tablespoon of sugar and one and a half tablespoon of milk flavor. This is not powdered milk. They said meat pie does not contain sugar. That is for them. This is for me. You can choose to add sugar 
or you can choose not to but this is homemade feel free to add whatever you want okay back to the floor i will add the sugar solution bit by bit once i add i will make The sugar solution was not enough to mix the dough. I went ahead to add more chilled water. Remember, I dissolve the sugar and they make flavor with chilled water. Okay, not room temperature, please. Use chilled water. Once everything comes together, I will put the dough back into the bowl and put in the refrigerator to rest for about five minutes. While that is resting, I will beat one egg in a separate bowl. Once that is done, set the egg aside. Back to the dough. This is what the dough is looking like. You can see. This is the exact texture we are going for. I will put the dough on the work surface and divide it into two equal parts. Keep the remaining part in the refrigerator to continue chilling while I roll the other half. Put the dough to about 2 or 3 cm flat. Now this is homemade. You don't need to bother yourself about meat pie cutter. If you have one, you can use it, okay? Or simply look for any round object around your home and cut the dough just like I'm doing. Once that is done, take out the excess ones. First, we brush the dough with the egg. This will help the dough to seal properly. Now, I go in with the fillings. Do not add too much filling so that you can be able to cover the dough properly. Once I'm done adding the dough, it is time to cover the pie. First, I see with the tip of my fingers. Finally see the dough with a fork just like I'm doing. Please, it is very important to see the dough properly. If you watch upon this minute, I appreciate you. It also means that you are enjoying the video. Please, can you take a moment to like the video? Also subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you so much. After sealing, this is what you should have. Now, this is the last one. Some people will throw away the remaining dough. Please, don't do that. This is how to put everything together. You don't need to keep it in the refrigerator to use for some other time. No, just watch me closely how I'm doing it. The last one may be bigger than the other ones, yes, but that is not a problem. Just do it just like I'm doing, okay? See properly and finally see with a fork. You can see that this one is bigger than the previous ones. Assemble them in a baking tray just like so. Now brush with the egg. This is going to give the pie a shiny look at the end of the baking. At this point, the pie is ready to be baked. The pie should be ready within 25 to 30 minutes. And here we are. The pie is ready at this point. Just look at those stretch marks on that pie. The pie turned out so, so good. And I love the end result. And the pie tasted so delicious. You need to give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Also like and share this video with your loved ones and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!